All right, and welcome to the next video. In this one, we're going to be talking about Booleans. Now, Booleans is a very funny word. Um, makes me laugh, but um, it's not the purpose. It's not its purpose. Um, <laughs> so, Booleans is basically it deals with it's under the mesh menu. It deals with two separate objects and um, basically combining them or subtracting or intersection. So. You can find the booleans menu under the mesh menu, which is under the polygons menu set. So I'm under the mesh, I go to booleans, and you can see here this little dashed line. Um, usually, whenever you have a pullout menu, um, you have a dashed line on the very top. If you actually click that dashed line, what that does is it brings that menu out so it doesn't go away unless you exit out of it. Um, so I'm going to bring it out that way. Um, <coughs> I can just go through the different ones without having to keep going back to that menu set. All right. So the first option is union. Now I'm just gonna—I got a cube and a sphere here. I'm just gonna move this cube over to the sphere. All right. Now I'm gonna select them both. I'm gonna hit union. Now what this does? Let me undo that right quick. Now if I press four, so I can go to wireframe mode. Remember, 4 and 5 go back and forth. So if I press 4 to go to wireframe mode, I can see that I can actually see inside my cube is inside my sphere. And then the other half of the cube is outside the sphere. Once I hit union, everything inside disappears and they become one. All right, so now this shape has completely changed. Now, understand that when you do Booleans, Booleans doesn't necessarily rework your topology. Topology is a term that's associated with the flow of your edges. So we can see here the flow of the edges for the sphere basically are very very smooth, very very round. Um, and for we have very few edges for our cube. Now when they combined um, our topology does not rework itself. In other words these lines don't make any attempt to connect to each other. All right, so we literally have bad topology right here. So <clears throat> um, ideally, we would then just have to go ahead and probably merge some of these vertices together, um, probably add new lines um, going in on this cube edge here. That way we can tie everything up. That way everything is like a nice, a nice grid almost. Um, so I'm going to undo that. Now difference. If I select my, I'm going to select my sphere first, and then my cube. And when I hit difference, I can see that the object I select first is what stays behind. The object I select second is what gets taken away from my first object. And then intersection is basically the, the middle part. The part that is on the in interior. Alright, so Booleans, a very fast way to get some very um, interesting shapes are uh, complicated. That may be a little complicated to make, but um, your topology does suffer because of it. And, you know, sometimes it's not so difficult to fix. Like in this case, I could just merge some of these together. Um, ideally, you do want to try to keep things quads, which is basically four edges, just because some tools, like the edge, insert edge loop tool, um, and some different um, things that you do later on down the road just work better when everything is squares off I should say four edges all right <clears throat> so that's it for this um, that's it for this video in the next one we're gonna move on to talk about in the next video we're gonna move on to talk about combining and separating objects